Hey, what's happening everybody? Jim here. Today we are looking at the Articulate plugin and also the Dock Articulate plugin. And we are starting right now. Hey, listen, if you're new to plugins, you're gonna to wanna to check out this video here because I go over how to install it. To save time, I'm just gonna go over the function of the plugin. To look for a .articulate plugin, you're gonna go ahead to MuseScore plugin, go to playback, make sure you have MuseScore 3.3 by the way, and then click apply. You're gonna scroll down where you see articulation and ornamentation control. By the way, if you're having a hard time finding this plugin, I will leave a link in the description. I'm also gonna leave a few other informational items in there that the programmers wrote or some awesome smart person in regards to how this plugin works. When you scroll down, you're gonna look for the download and then I am just going to be speaking about the Doc Articulate program for today. I have that installed, so now let's go to MuseScore. Okay, so since I said I'm also gonna show the Articulate plugin, they're pretty much the same, the Doc Articulate and the Articulate. So the Articulate is just a small box. You have to highlight a phrase first. After you go ahead and choose what you wanna put in for off time, we'll talk about that in one second. Once you click apply, it just disappears. I didn't put anything in, disappear. The dock articulate, I think that's why they call it dock, it stays to the left of the screen. So we're gonna really focus on that. All right, I have dock articulate open. And the main thing with this plugin is to make sure that you understand that you need to amplify your phrases if you want it more legato or a shorter sound. Now that you have this open, you don't see anything yet because you have to highlight a note. I'm gonna go ahead and click on measure one on the N of three. And right now you see C5, and then we are gonna focus on the on time percentage. We have zero to a thousand, literally a thousand variables. So MuseScore or this plugin measures it by a thousands. I don't use on time percentage often, but I've learned from Robert Greenberg, I think on one of the programming hubs, that it basically measures the latency or the delay of the sound in regards to this percentage. It's used for um, maybe simulating a cross violin bowing. But watch what happens. I have this on the end of three. I have set this to about 300, which means there'll be a delay in sound. So there'll be like a, I don't know, 128th note or something. So let's go ahead and look at it. So we have that on the on time, the thousandth of a second. So let's go ahead and play that. Starting on measure one, listen for the pitch C on the end of three. Did you hear it? If you didn't, then I could really ramp it up. I don't use this often. I only use really the off time. And when you select a phrase or more than one note, you'll see the off time percentage only. So that's what we're gonna look into right now. So adjusting your articulation. If you want something more legato, the number goes higher. If you want it shorter, you go lower. Simple as that. So what I'm gonna do is exaggerate number measure one. I'm gonna exaggerate it and I'm gonna put in something like 1800. So it's gonna be very reverby, watery. This is a dramatization only. I'm gonna click apply. All right, that's psychedelic. So what I'm gonna do now, just to prove a point, I'm now gonna put in 400. It's like a student learning how to play and they're ignoring things and just trying to get the notes out. Here we go. Sounds good. We're misbehaving with the articulation. We're gonna look at measure three. If you see, what I did is here, I put in, I exaggerated a bit, 1300 for the three notes, and then I wanted to cut off a little bit just so maybe we could hear the tonguing a bit. And you can play around with that. This would be good if you have a lot of phrases of instruments or playing maybe a similar phrase. I just wanted a bit more separation there. So staccato, we're gonna take a look at that. Staccato is a bit different. When I wanna make it shorter, it also gets softer because there's only so much real estate you have with an eighth note. So if you can hear the difference, here's measure five, which I like, that's fine. It's shorter and it's also softer. Uh, you might be able to play around with this if you really need something short. It would be inspector time. And then you can click on notes and then you can go to the play section and maybe crank up velocity. I think it's usually offset. I've tried it and it seems kind of convincing, but... 
I know, I know. Measure seven, I have 40 under each note that's very aggressive. And I'm just trying to make a point because I'm making a video. I think 500 is fine. What I have found with this plugin, when you work with staccato, you can't get too much shorter if what you're detecting with the human ear, but you can get the staccato if you need it somehow a bit longer. Um, all this is great, but just remember the music will speak for itself. And I think that's where we have to learn how to really craft what we're doing with our music and harmonizing and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video is helpful and also intriguing and maybe you'll try the plugin. Let me know. And if you find value out of my content, please hit that like button and consider subscribing because it helps the channel out. So until next time, please take care. Happy music making.